cosmetic company slammed over selling what seems to be blackface. All right, I'm gonna let the uh, expert explain and then I will give you context, here it is. Which side of my face is the black face paint or the Euphoria Foundation? T, you can't tell, you know why? Tar in a bottle. This is jet black face paint and this is the darkest shade of the Euphoria Date Night Foundation. Hmm, this is black face paint. This is the darkest shade of the Euphoria Foundation. Hmm, a few months ago, I tried the darkest shade of the Euphoria Foundation. This is what it looked like on me. I'm gonna apply some of the foundation on this side of my face so you guys can see. Let's just go ahead and try to blend this out, you guys. Enough, who is that color? I'm gonna wipe this off and let me put the paint all over my face. I'm literally just going in with the face paint. We're gonna do some painting and let me just go ahead and blend it out with the brush. This is the darkest shade of the Euphoria Foundation. This is black face paint. Hmm, sometimes it's okay to say, hey, maybe my brand is not made for complexion. I'm gonna squeeze a pump of this on my forehead just right out the bottle so you guys can see that I'm literally not joking. We're gonna do a big blend of this, you guys. This is actually marketed as a shade for black people. Um, there's more. When we say that we want you guys to make shades for us, we don't mean to go to the lab and ask for menstrual show black. What we mean is to take the browns that you have made, create undertones and do what you need to do in the lab so it's a darker shade of brown. This is the darkest shade, shade 600. And as you guys can see in the bottle, literally jet black. The shade right next to it, shade 590. This is what it looks like in the bottle. Here is shade 600. You guys, there could be like 10 more shades in between these two shades. In addition to that, when we go to the actual website and we look at the swatch, not only is the swatch online literally jet black, there's literally only four or five shades for people that actually have dark complexions. Not really for black people, for being honest. Not only in 2024 is this so disgusting and disrespectful, but this needs to be pulled off the shelves. Put it a full mask, uh, the sister is correct. So I saw some of the comments online about, well, how is this black face? Well, it's, it's basically black face paint. Uh, and I would imagine there's no makeup company selling white paint to white people. Uh, just like I couldn't find another company selling black paint to black people as makeup, except for this company. A makeup company with the products available at Ultra Beauty released a deep black foundation shade after black beauty uh, gurus said, its initial shade range was not inclusive of darker complexions. And so what you're seeing or what you just saw was a response to the complaint. And I wonder, was this one of those ha ha responses to their complaints about not having a darker or darker shades for uh, various complexions, okay? Um, put it back up full mass. Uh, but now the brand, which is Euphoria, faces backlash after some black beauty creator said the new dark shade was reminiscent of, well, as you can see, blackface. Gloria George, a black beauty creator with over 1.4 million TikTok followers, first reviewed Euphoria's Date Night Skin Tint Serum last year after the brand released 15 shades. She complained that the original set of shades did not match her skin and was not inclusive, which it wasn't. After a wave of backlash, the company released 10 more shades, including the darkest 600. Uh, George Review, Euphoria's new darkest shade Monday. In the video, she put jet black face paint on one cheek and the Euphoria Foundation on the other. They looked almost identical. Her review has been liked over a million times and continues to grow. Last year, after the original complaint that its shades were not inclusive enough, Euphoria CEO apologized, saying, quote, when I first started Euphoria two years ago, all I wanted to do was create a safe place where individual beauty can be celebrated. And unfortunately, at our latest launch, we just fell short of that mission. Euphoria did not respond to a request for comment about the new 600 shade. Alta did not immediately respond to a request for comment. In an interview, George said, the new black shade, quote, feels like a slap in the face and sets the tone for what's acceptable in the industry. Quote, 
I feel like the beauty industry itself has taken a step backward. She said, we've seen so many um, complexion launches that would never work for a skin tone like mine. Black beauty creators have been criticized of makeup brands so they don't uh, say that, that don't offer inclusive shade ranges for years. In 2017, Rihanna launched uh, Fenty Beauty to fill the gap in foundation shades, leading to runaway success online and in stores. Yet makeup brands from Tardy Cosmetics to Euphoria have continued to face viral backlash for shade range controversies, typically over brands not offering darker shades. All right, um, so the idea, the idea is to be thoughtful. So that is the idea that the black beauty experts were pushing online to be thoughtful about your consumer base rather than thoughtless. I must say, you all missed the mark again. Euphoria seemed to be completely thoughtless in what they decided to promote. And I have to imagine, Wozni, while I'm not a makeup officiato, I have to mm-hmm. imagine there's somebody that test it and says, hey, this works, this is good, this is great for the market. There has to be some level of, you know, survey before it goes out. Yeah, let's just, we can uh, safely assume that the R&D um, into <laughs> these darker shades was not exactly robust right. and very well funded or, you know, thoughtfully executed. That, that, that like, there's, there's no way that you come out of this this way. And I'm glad they brought up Rihanna because I, I think folks need to understand that she entered the the beauty world with this as her mission statement. Just that like as a black woman who purchases a lot of this stuff, she said a lot of times she was doing her own experimentation, mixing and matching foundations on her own. Basically mm-hmm. like a scientist damn near um, in order to, to create herself Shades that would work for her because the shades for darker complected people were so limited. And let me remind folks that Rihanna, her last album was 2016, meaning her beauty empire has taken off so like excessively that she's retired from music, from this market inefficiency. So the idea that we're seven years down the line on this thing and people still don't get it right, what that means to me is like, I, I don't even go racist with this. I just think it's ineptitude on a financial level that you don't like, you really don't care about tapping into this market so much that you're just going to keep, you know, underfunding the development and missing out on those dollars. Like these people don't want um, black people's money. And so they won't have it. And that's completely fine, in my opinion. And their businesses will fail because of it. Well said, dear brother. 